Hey everyone, it's Anthony Allen Ramos. All right, we are counting down to the Emmy Awards on September 12th and RuPaul's Drag Race has done it again. 11 big nominations across the franchise and today I am so excited to be here at the Los Angeles LGBT Center to talk with the amazing Carrie Colby, Hi. Jasmine Kennedy, Hi, Lady, Lady Camden, Hi. Deja Sky, June John Belaya, and Bosco. Um, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. But I feel like thinking back on this amazing season, the 11 nominations, Jasmine, of course, I want to come to you because thinking back on that untucked episode, I don't think any of us have ever seen a moment like that. I think it's going to go down in the history of yes. best moments when it comes to Drag Race. Tell me about that and getting to share your truth in that way. Yeah, I mean, it definitely um, was a roller coaster of emotions, as you can tell. Um, I think up until that point, I really hadn't been honest, honest with the group as well as with myself as what I really wanted to do with my life as well as you know who I wanted to become. And I think in that moment with the conversation of Davis, or not Deva, Deja, sorry. Davis. De David. <laughs> Deja sparking the conversation, you know, kind of, and seeing Bosco open up about it a little bit more kind of gave mm -hmm. me the um, comfortability to say um, what I was feeling. And I think it was a great, you know, bonding and experience mm -hmm. that I don't think I would have done it with anybody else. I felt really comfortable. To it was so to special. Know. Every time. It's great. <laughs> yeah, every time I watch that back, it, it just it's, means so much. And Carrie, for you to be there to receive it, for Jasmine to say, you are an inspiration to me, you've inspired me to do, you know, to do this. What was that like for you? Oh my goodness. It was very full circle because I, I, I always have seen a lot of myself in Jasmine. She's my little daughter, <laughs> you know? And even on the show, like as we were starting, she was definitely like, you know, one of the younger contestants coming in. So much energy, so much life, and kind of finding her ropes. And when that moment happened, I was like, this is a full circle moment. And it was just so amazing to be able to be that person that I always wish I had and kind of paying it forward. And it was just so genuine, so magical, so much fate. Yeah. So much fate. Like we say, we need like, the, like seeing representation in the room mm -hmm. and seeing yourself in someone is always important. Yeah. And I think that is what that moment capitalized on specifically is the fact that I saw someone that you know, I saw myself and hopefully one day to be. So I think that's what really matters. I love that. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Uh, Bosco, if I may come over to you. I think about RuPaul's Drag Race and what it means to so many of us in the community. And for you also, I'm thinking back about five trans queens this year. So amazing. And for you, Tell me we're about this. Six, but <laughs> <laughs> we're still waiting for this show. Right? Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of potential six. This honey. season for you was so important for your journey. How did, you know, being a part of this show and, you know, just going through all of that, what was it like for you to kind of just be and, you know, who you are now? It was so incredible. We filmed the show kind of at the tail end of the lockdown. Right. So a lot of us had sat with ourselves and our thoughts for the past, like, year and a half. And like a lot of us had really gone into it just like, okay, we're probably going to be moving the meter over. And then to be like blasted with so much queerness yeah. all at once after like not seeing anybody for so long, I just like felt like energized and focused. And I'm like, okay, I know what I want. I know what I want and I know how to get it. I'm seeing my friends going out and getting what they want. And yeah, like seeing is believing, seeing yourself in somebody else allows you to like see the possibilities that are there for yourself. Absolutely. And that's what it's all about, right? And that's yeah. why I'm glad we're pushing so much for representation and these stories that RuPaul's Drag Race, you know, continues to tell. Um, Deja. Yes? Better talk about Mama Ru. Okay. We're talking about RuPaul's Drag Race. I think, obviously, RuPaul has won for hosting many Emmys in a yeah. row. But Ru really is unique and so special yeah. with this whole experience. Tell mm -hmm. me about your kind of experience with Rue and how much it meant to have that support. Well, I think from day one when I met Rue, um, our first walkthrough, he literally said like, I saw your tape, I knew I had to have you here. And it really was kind of a full, uh, full circle moment because you look at her as an idol, you look at her like, you're always looking up to her, mainly because she's tall, but you're always <laughs> looking up to her. And so for her to kind of be like, I saw your tape, I wanted you here, mm -hmm. I see you. And throughout the entire competition, I really felt like she almost looked at me like, as like a colleague almost, like like she kind of understood, maybe because my age guys, maybe because I'm a little <laughs> bit older, but she almost looked at me more or less like, like as a competitor, more or less, I saw you from day one. Mm -hmm. 
and you just have to continue to impress me and just do what you have to do. And I never ever felt like she looked at me any differently or looked down on me. A multi Emmy award winning <laughs> RuPaul. Yes. Lady Camden, if I may Hi. come to you, I think as we, yes. <laughs> um, with this, you know, this, this category, outstanding reality competition series, I think with Drag Race, it, it's so much more than just a performance. There is, you have to really do it all. How important is it that people realize that and understand that, you know, it's not that easy to do what no. you all do. I mean, I think Drag Race tests so much of your, not only your abilities to perform and be an amazing drag queen, you have to be of a certain level to even get noticed by, mm -hmm. you know, the Drag Race family. Um, I think it tests your, like, spirit and your, uh, ability to sort of persevere through times where you feel like you're being challenged at things that you're just not as strong at. Like everyone's really strong at something and less strong at other things and I think it tests you to be able to bounce between something that you're amazing at and then something that you're really being tested at, you know, every week and I think that it, it tests your soul, it tests your your intellect, your taste, everything. Amen to that. Mm -hmm. uh, June Jambalaya, Woo! I think you know, we have known about r Drag Race and how important it is. I think the world is finally catching up. Obviously, the, it's been the Emmy darling for years now. Emmy but, darling. But, <laughs> darling. <laughs> but it's amazing because there are fans who are, you know, the grandmother in Michigan. Then there's people like myself. There are pe it, There's no age. It really transcends it's such a wide audience. What do you think is the reason for that? Um, I think the ingredients of the show, you're taking real people with real passions and their experiences and now it's introducing their family gets to watch it who may have not supported it. Just like, oh, that's my nephew. You see your nephew, your daughter, like your friend. And I think that is transcending everywhere. Like you mm -hmm. really are seeing RuPaul change real people's lives. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's what it is. I agree. Yes. I'm into that. Uh, Jasmine, I know we all obviously have watched the show for years and I love to talk to, you know, the current queens about maybe a moment in Drag Race history that was super impactful, a moment, an episode. Was there ever that moment that, you know, is you look back and you're like, you know what, that was a, a big deal for me to see on Drag Race? I think for me, um, the, the, the one moment that always sticks out to me would have to be when Monica Beverly Hills came out. I think at the time I didn't really understand what she was talking about or things like that, but after watching her throughout the season and you know seeing like going back to season five and watching it over and over again realizing what she came out as as a trans woman mm -hmm. I really resonated with that season and her as a whole you know yeah. she was so you know she came to the competition not really letting everybody know who she was but after she didn't stop it from continuing her path mm -hmm. and I really appreciated that I think yeah. from the get-go. Carrie any for me, I mean, I have two. I would say for the trans identity aspect, my auntie, Miss Kylie Sonique Love, yeah. her original run was so authentic and you really saw her also like just find herself and that was one of those first times that you saw someone almost not really intend to break, but because of the amount of honesty and the energy in the room, she just bared her truth and it was so vulnerable, so beautiful. And then for me personally, when I was going through so much, um, my first season I ever watched was season five and Alyssa Edwards, the Dallas connection, it really gave me an identity and it gave me something to like look into and, and look up to and get excited about. And I had a lot of things depressing me at the time, so it healed me. Uh, Lady Camden, <laughs> any <clears throat> moments in the drag race history that you know you look back on, you're like, you know what, that was a big deal for me? Um, I think Adore Delana, someone that kind of always like inspired me a lot because I hadn't really seen anyone like her on the show yet. And I think that we just like fell in love with her as a person like so quickly. And I think that it was fun to watch her discover that she could kind of just be herself mm -hmm. and maybe at first didn't believe in it. And I think for me, I kind of felt similar in my season where I was like, I don't know if people are gonna like me. I don't sure. have like, right. I don't know, it's just me, you yeah. know? And then after a while you, you start to find your stride and I think it, thinking of a door helped me a lot just to be like, just be yourself, man. Yeah. Like literally people <laughs> will get it if you just relax and be yourself, you know, right. on TV. <laughs> be yourself on TV. Yeah. You know, I think when it comes to these reality competition shows, they obviously have to be entertaining. Sure. Mm -hmm. People need to watch, but there's a lot of heart and obviously a lot of impact. Bosco, I can imagine that the fans have probably 
filled up your DMs. What has it been like to see the fans, these queer people, and not, just reach out to you and say how much that the show means and how much your story means to them? It's it's incredible. It's like such a like pick me up. It's so it's so energizing and it's it just it really puts into perspective just like how big this reach is and like how much this matters to people, mm -hmm. especially like out in like the world when we're doing like a meet and greet or if we're like at like DragCon and we get to meet like younger people that don't get to like come to the clubs and like see queer people like us. It really like means the world to a lot of these people and yeah, I don't know. It it it's just, there's so much heart involved mm -hmm. with all of it. Um, and I, you know, thinking about this, the impact and all of the people around the country and around the world that watch the show, you know, our community is under attack right now. Our rights are being taken away all across the U.S. Um, June Jambalaya, I mean, what would you say to anyone out there that thinks that maybe queer people don't deserve the same rights that everyone else does? Simple and liberty and justice for all. Period. Period. Yeah. Dejas guy, I bet you have something to say about this. You know, it's one of those things. <laughs> <laughs> you know how how I see it is that um, people, um, if you are an ally or if you are um, a friend of someone, you need to be um, in it and on in all colors, in all shapes, in all sizes. Every single person deserves to have their freedom. Every single person deserves to have the right, just like the next of us. We are in America. Is America not the land of the free? It doesn't feel like that. You know, and we can only share our stories and we can only try to do as much as we can. But if everyone thinks that they don't matter mm -hmm. and if everyone thinks that what they're saying doesn't matter, we're gonna get nowhere. So you posting a po resharing something about something that you don't exactly agree with, that goes a long way. Mm -hmm. We have to make the change. And it starts with allies. It starts with, you know, people not only in our community, just being it in all shades, you know. Mm -hmm. Very well said. Oh my god! Yes. <laughs> um, before we wrap up, I think about with this season specifically, obviously getting 11 Emmy nominations, I think what Drag Race does so well is that it continues to tell even more and bigger and important stories. What do you hope is next for Drag Race? What do you want the next mm. thing to be? Big Brother Drag Race. Oh, that <laughs> <laughs> Not more <season. laughs> More okay, okay, no. <laughs> Come on, who would want to live in a, cast or a house with all of them for That's 30 crazy. days? I, I would watch. Super would be You would not have made it out of the live. Oh, no, Everyone voted out, out first. Come on, you yes. already know. <laughs> I'm here. I, yeah, I, I just think for me, I would love to see, you know, um, a cisgendered woman. I would love to see drag kings on the show. Yeah, I think I would love to see even more representation, um, representation than we already have. Mm -hmm. I would just love to see that more. I want her to get really specific with it. I like. I want there to be like Drag Race Great Falls, Montana. Like I want them to like break it down to just like a minute city and just like drag yeah. Race, um, yeah. Drag Race, race Pussycat Wigs. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Drag Race Schenectady. Yes. Schenectady. I'll put it out into the drag universe. Yeah. Um, but just a reminder, everyone, the Emmys September 12th. Make sure to tune in, check out to see if Drag Race takes home the big trophies again. Congrats again, 11 nominations. Yeah. Yay. Congrats to you all.